Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new cryptocurrency, Marlin Protocol. This is a layer zero cryptocurrency. And so in the past we have talked about layer one and layer two cryptocurrencies. However, layer zero is new to me. And so I think there is potential for this cryptocurrency. And so we're going to be going over the overall market and looking at more details on this cryptocurrency. And so layer one cryptocurrencies are Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB and, and Avalanche and many others. And then layer two cryptocurrencies Currencies are focusing on scaling for Ethereum, and those can be Matic and Loopring and other cryptocurrencies as well. And, and so Layer 0 is the foundation of blockchain. It is the structure for these cryptocurrencies that are building upon it. And so it is important that that has a very good structure for these cryptocurrencies to scale and do very well going forward. And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We are going to take a look here at the overall market as well. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. And so we can see here that Bitcoin is currently back above $40,000. We are at 43,337 currently, and we have Ethereum at about $3,350. And so we can see a lot of these other cryptocurrencies are doing well over the last seven days. We have BNB up over 18%. We also have Cardano rebounding slightly after it has been very heavily beaten down over the last couple of months. We are up 10% in the last seven days. We also have Terra Luna here that is up 35%. This cryptocurrency has been doing very well going forward. And then another cryptocurrency I'm very bullish on here is Polygon. And so we sell this almost up to $3, up 24% in the last seven days. And so I think this has a lot of potential moving forward. And so I think we are starting to see the overall cryptocurrency market slowly start to rebound here. However, just keep in mind that they are going to be releasing some regulatory standards for cryptocurrencies over the next couple of weeks. They did give us a heads up on that, that it is coming. And so that's just something to look out for. I think regulation is very good for the space as it will allow many corporations and other people to get involved with the space since they may be reducing risk. And so let's take a look here at Marlin as well. And so we can see this is up 30% in the last 24 hours and is currently trading at 6.8 cents. And so we can see here the current rank for Marlin is 611 on coin market cap and has a market cap of about $50 million. And so this is relatively small for a cryptocurrency, especially because this cryptocurrency is listed on Binance and KuCoin and many other exchanges. And so I think there's a ton of potential for this to do very well as this starts to get more attention. And so before we take a look at the chart and I give my opinion on where I think this is heading, I'd like to take a look at this article here stating that Binance Labs has backed Marlin Protocol, raising $3 million. And so as I mentioned, this is listed on Binance and that makes it accessible to many people buying this cryptocurrency. And so in this article, it explains what Marlin Protocol is focusing on. They are working to increase the network speeds across a variety of blockchains throughput constraints or limitations on how much data can smoothly flow through a network are seen as a major impediment to widespread blockchain adoption. And so we can see that they're aiming to improve the speeds across multiple chains called a bandwidth sharing marketplace. And so this is gonna provide significant improvements to the bandwidth on a blockchain that can be made by introducing a subset of new networks called relayers. And so they're using relayers to speed up the transactions. And and so Marlin is a leader in a new class of infrastructure startups in crypto that are blockchain agnostic and will dramatically increase network performance. And so what that means is they can be integrated into almost every single cryptocurrency. And so this is very good for this as it can be applied across a lot of blockchain projects. And so we can see as well here that certain blockchains are already employing relayers such as Algorand. The number of relayers in Algorand is in single digits. If anyone is able to bribe just those single digit relayers, they have brought down the network because they are the ones responsible for all this communication. Now, if every blockchain tries to do this, every blockchain introduces these single points of failure. And so that is where Marlin Protocol comes into play. And so they are aiming to introduce a large network of relayers able to secure virtually any blockchain. This would occur along the side of more common node activities such as staking and mining. So they are doing this on a much larger scale rather than every cryptocurrency having their own relayers with points of failure. They're going to do this at larger scale and apply those to those cryptocurrencies. And so let's take a look at the chart here and where I think we are heading. And so we can see there is very strong support here at five cents for pond. And so we can see here that we have bounced off of that and we are currently trading at 6.8 cents. And so I wouldn't be surprised to see this pullback slightly. And then we will 
you'll see some resistance right around seven and a half cents. And so after we do break through that, I would not be surprised to see this go up over 10 cents just at the resistance at 11 cents. And so we have seen this multiple times. And so we can see we came down here and just about tested that five cents. And then we did bounce off of that and hit 10 cents. And then again, we dropped back down to five cents. And then we saw it again, come all the way back up above 10 cents. And again, we are back down around that five cent level. And so I would not be surprised to see this go over 10 cents again. That is close to a 100% return on your investment. And so please do your own research on this. This is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. And so next, I'd like to take a look at a couple of other things for this cryptocurrency. And so the CEO at Marlin Protocol has experience in the cryptocurrency space and has previously worked at Microsoft as well. And so he was a developer at Zoliqua. And so I think that is very good as he has now started his own cryptocurrency. And so next, I'd like to take a look at this video here from Marlin Protocol. Anyone in the community can stake or run a Marlin cluster. Since going live almost a year ago, more than 100 validators have joined Marlin and run clusters for the Ethereum network. And since Marlin operates underneath layer one chains, it is possible to integrate multiple chains at layer zero. We are already in the process of integrating Polkadot, Polygon, and Cosmos, which will be going live soon. And so we can see there that this cryptocurrency can be staked and then it will also be going live on other platforms as well with those integrations soon. And so that's something to be looking out for as I think this cryptocurrency will get much more attention. And so next I'd like to take a look at this on Twitter as well. At the end of last year, they announced that they're gonna be switching over from Ethereum to Arbitrum to reduce the fees and speed up the network. And so this is something very positive to see for this cryptocurrency as well as they are working on improving Marlin protocol. And so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comments below the video, what you think of Marlin Protocol as they are focusing on the network infrastructure for DeFi and Web 3.0 at the base layer. They are focusing on the foundation to make improvements for a lot of other cryptocurrencies and platform coins out there. And so I think there's a ton of potential for Marlin Protocol going forward. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.